Hello children, a very good morning all. All of you welcome back to our English class. So children, today we are moving on to the second lesson which is Let me live. Name of our second lesson is Let me live. Before moving on to the lesson, children do you know what is the speciality of June 5th? Anyone? Okay, I will tell. We celebrate June 5th as the World Environment Day. Okay. And anyone know what is the importance of that day? Or usually what we do on the day? What we do on June 5th, the World Environment Day? Yes, we will plant three saplings, isn't it? Okay, then what is the importance of trees or what is the importance of trees in our life? Okay, I will tell why are trees so important. So listen, children, trees provide us oxygen that we need to breathe to live. And trees taking carbon dioxide and give out oxygen thus making the air clean. And children, trees provide us fruits, isn't it? Trees provide us different fruits like mango, jackfruit, orange, isn't it? And it also provides shade on hot days. So children, we can't survive without trees. Okay, we can't survive without trees. But some people cut down trees for their benefits. Do you think it is a good thing for us? No. So children, we have to save trees and save our life. Okay. So in this lesson, we are going to learn a small poem about a tree. So all of you take your textbook page number 9. So let's read the poem. Okay. Let us read. Listen carefully. Once I was a tiny seed. Mother nature cared for my need. I grew up as a shady tree. Now my age is 23. I have branches so many. For children to play in company. I feed worms with tiny feet. I make homes with tiny twigs. I am for the resting herds. Also for the poor shepherds. People breathe the air I give. Why do not people let me live? Why do not people let me live? Once I was a tiny seed. Mother nature cared for my need. I grew up as a shady tree. Now my age is 23. I have branches so many. For children to play in company. I feed worms with tiny feet. I make homes with tiny twigs. I am for the resting herds. Also for the poor shepherds. People breathe the air I give. Why do not people let me live? Why do not people let me live? Once I was a tiny seed. Mother nature cared for my need. I grew up as a shady tree. Now my age is 23. I have branches so many. For children to play in company. I feed worms with tiny feet. I make homes with tiny twigs. I am for the resting herds. Also for the poor shepherds. People breathe the air I give. Why do not people let me live? Why do not people let me live? So children. This poem teaches to respect trees and to realize 
the importance of trees in our lives okay so we should protect trees and never cut down trees okay we should protect trees okay so children now let's check the new words the first word is mother nature used for referring to nature used for referring to nature second word in company in company means with other people now the third one warm 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 means a tiny creature with a long soft body and no bones or legs next one fig fig a soft fruit with a lot of small seeds inside next herd herd means any group of animals that feed and travel together now the last one breathe draw air into lungs and let it out okay so children now let's move on to the exercise so all of you take page number 11 Let us understand. A. List the rhyming words from the poem. List the rhyming words from the poem. So I will read the answer. Okay. So the first one is seed and need. Seed and need. Second one. Tree, tree. Tree, tree. Now the third one, many company, many company. Fourth one, figs, twigs, figs, twigs. Now the fifth one, herds, shepherds, herds, shepherds. Now the last one. give live give live okay now children b answer the following questions so children uh, here given some questions so i will read the questions and answers also so listen carefully the first one who was once a tiny seed who was once a tiny seed the answer the big tree was once a tiny seed the big tree was once a tiny seed now the second one how old is the tree now how old is the tree now the answer the tree is now 23 years old the tree is now 23 years old now the third question what do worms do on the tree what do worms do on the tree the answer the worms eat the tiny figs that grow on the tree the worms eat the tiny figs that grow on the tree now the fourth question how does the tree help the herds of sheep shepherds and children how does the tree help the herds of sheep shepherds and children so children the answer is the herds of sheep and the shepherds rest in the shade of the tree the children play together under the shady tree once again the herds of sheep and the shepherds rest in the shade of the tree the children play together under the shady tree now the fifth question which line in the poem tell us that the tree is sad which line in the poem tells us that the tree is sad so children the answer is the last line what the tree is asking why people do not let it live 
tells us that the tree is sad. Once again, the last line where the tree is asking why people do not let it live tells us that the tree is sad. Okay, now the last question. Why is the tree sad? Why is the tree sad? So the answer, the tree gives shade to the people who sit under it. It gives food and shelter to the animals that live in it. The tree also gives clean air to breathe. Despite all, these people cut the tree down and destroy it. That is why the tree is sad. Once again, the tree gives shade to the people who sit under it. It gives food and shelter to the animals that live in it. The tree also gives clean air to breathe. Despite all, these people cut the tree down and destroy it. That is why the tree is sad. Okay. So children, now the next one, hots. What will happen if there are no trees? What will happen if there are no trees? So children, I will read the answer. Okay. If there are no trees, the following will happen. A. Most of the animals living on land will not get food and shelter. B. We will not get fruits and nuts from trees to eat. C. No wood will be available to us to build houses, furniture, boats, etc. Next, D. Many trees such as neem and amla have medicinal values. They will be lost forever. Next, E. Trees absorb a lot of heat from the air. If there are no trees, the air will become very hot. Next, F. Roots of trees hold the soil together. In the absence of trees, all the soil will get washed away by flowing water. Next, G. Trees clean the air by taking in carbon dioxide and releasing oxygen. If all the trees are cut down, the air will not be clean enough for us to breathe. Okay, now the last activity, herbarium. Collect fallen flowers and leaves and dry them between sheets of newspaper. Remember to turn them over every couple of days. Otherwise, they might rot between the sheets. Once they are dry, stick them in your scrapbook. Write the names of the flowers and the trees. Your herbarium is ready so children collect the fallen flowers and leaves okay and let it dry and then stick it on your scrapbook so children today's class ends here and don't forget your homework on page number nine okay so draw the christmas tree and color it and send me the photo on whatsapp so let's continue in the next class thank you